let us look at proposition number 110 of book 10 of Euclid's Elements. The proposition says, if a medial area incommensurable with the whole is subtracted from a medial area, then two remaining irrational straight lines arise, either a second epitome of a medial straight line or a straight line which produces with a medial area a medial hole. So let, let's see how we can prove this. Let BC be a medial area and let a medial area BD be subtracted from BC which is incommensurable with BC. We set out the rational straight line FG and we apply to FG a parallelogram GH equal to BC and we subtract FL equal to BD from GH. So BC and BD are medial and applied to rational straight line FG and remember BC and BD are incommensurable. That implies FH and FK are rational and incommensurable in length with FG and FH is incommensurable with FK. So therefore FH and FK are rational straight lines commensurable in square only. Which means FH minus FK that is KH is an epitome. Here FH square is greater than fk square by the square on a straight line either commensurable or incommensurable in length with fh so which means we have two possibilities let's take it one by one if fh square is greater than fk square by the square on a straight line commensurable in length with fh and both FH and FK are incommensurable with FG set out, then KH is a third epitome. Now, KL, which is the same as FG, is rational, and KH is a third epitome. That means the side of KL by KH, that is the side of a square equal to this rectangle is second epitome of a medial straight line. This, this is, uh, you know, we have already proved this in uh, a previous proposition. But KL by KH, this area is equal to LH and LH is equal to EC. Now, how did LH become equal to EC? Because remember, GH is equal to BC and FL is equal to BD. So that means the remainder will be equal to the remainder, which means LH is equal to EC. So which means the side of EC is a second epitome of a medial straight line. Again, remember, side of EC means the side of a square whose area is equal to EC. The area of is so we have arrived at one conclusion based on this condition but now let's look at the second condition or the alternate possibility if fx square is greater than fk square by the square on a straight line incommensurable in length with fh and both fh and fk are incommensurable with fg set out then KH is a sixth epitome. Now KL is rational because it is equal to FG and KH is sixth epitome. Means the side of KL by KH is that which produces a medial area with a medial hole. And we know KL by KH equal to LH which is equal to EC. So the side of EC is that which produces a medial area with a medial hole. So that is what we had to prove that if a medial area is subtracted from a 
medial area and these areas are incommensurable, then either a second apotome of a medial straight line arises or that which produces a medial area with a medial pull arises. So that is proposition number 110 of book 10 of Euclid's Elements. Again, let me remind you, there is a link to a PDF book which describes all these propositions in detail. Please feel free to download it, refer to it. And if you think somebody else can also benefit from it, please do share. That's it for now.